or good afternoon everybody. Welcome if you're new here, my name is Polly. Today we'll be exploring an area I haven't been to in over a year and that place is what I like to call the Gold Falls. Now our goal here today is to have as much fun as possible and hopefully leave here with some gold. So let's go. This is a lot steeper than I remember. I guess you could just slide down. Looks like somebody's actually been trying to set up a camp here, which is well, illegal. All these sheets for roofing, front door ornament. <laughs> I absolutely love how beautiful it is out here. It just sounds like nature. Very careful, don't get wet. Keith has got this. He's a rock climber. You recording me? I'm, re I'm recording you for recording me. We're here! The Gold Falls! This sounds like nature. Now before I begin and start crevicing and using my gold pan, I'm just going to use the metal detector here and see if I can't find some easy targets laying in the bedrock. With my luck, it's going to be a nail. I think it's actually up in here though, but I don't want to dig into the root. You want to get in between it. So I'm deciding just to move on from this target because I'm starting to go deeper into the roots and I don't want to destroy any roots. So so right here looks like a nice pinch point. As you can see the bedrock starts to go into a little narrow crevice and work its way down. Bedrock is the lowest point gold can actually be in and gold is heavy. You know the odds are on any gold bearing stream gold is going to be accumulated at the bottom. <laughs> Shake all the material in the pan. So anything heavy, like gold, sinks to the bottom. Sometimes you'll see gold accumulating up in the corners. <gasps> yeah. If we were microscopic, that, my friends, or whatever it is, will be a nugget. So I just did a few more pans, I didn't find anything. So I'm gonna go work right underneath the waterfall and see if we have any luck over there. I don't have my crevice tool with me. I just have a spoon, so I have to be very careful where I look. Look at that! 
how much gold is actually underneath that waterfall. I'm only using, I'm gonna sit down. I'm only using a spoon and I don't have any crevice tool to go as deep as I would like in the bedrock, but there was one spot in there that actually had more gold than all the rest. So I cleaned it out the best I could and I only came out with what I came out with. But for now, I'm gonna go walk around and see if I can find another deposit like that. So, after doing many more pans in that little crevice that we found, I found no gold, but I found a lot of black sand, but that doesn't help us on our mission to find gold. So what I'm gonna do now is go downstream to the second set of waterfalls and see if we can find gold there because there's a lot of bedrock and I haven't been down there much longer than I haven't been here. To the next adventure. slide. There's only one way down. <laughs> and it's to have some fun. I haven't been here in like three years or something. Two or three years. So already we already <laughs> I'm assuming again it's garbage. But either way it's metal. And there's usually gold that sits around metal because metal and gold are the same thing. Friends. Friends. So I'm gonna just use my trusty spoon, clean this area out. And if it's gold, then obviously we are laughing. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem very solid in here. It's very loose. So it's probably gonna be a nail or something close to that. It's a 40. Nugget. I'm gonna come back here with a wetsuit. Do some sniping. There's nothing. So what that target was is probably a little rusty piece of wire. I just found another piece of exposed gold. I think it's gold. It's, it's shinier than anything else, so that's what I think. Right there. Maybe I can grab it. Yeah, a little flat piece. Right there. That's a good sign, because this means that there could be gold nearby. Mm -hmm. Not 100%, but this could mean there's gold nearby. People would not usually ignore these tiny little cracks like this, but I've actually had a lot of luck only looking in tiny cracks. <laughs> that sounded so bad. <laughs> Hey, look at that. Right there. <laughs> Sticking out of the moss, there's another piece of gold. 
That's unusual. Look at that. That's crazy. I don't want to drop it, but... Uh, did I get it? I did. Look at that. Interesting. <laughs> That's the first time I've actually found gold sitting on moss. I know moss acts as like a as a trap for gold, but that's crazy. All right, in the pan. Two pieces of gold and we haven't even used the pan. <laughs> See, that's exactly what I was saying too. Don't ignore these little cracks. So right away, we already know that we have those two pieces of gold in the pan. We pan it and there's only one piece of gold. I'm in trouble. <laughs> Yep. That's all there is in here. Well, there's a couple micro poops, but... There you go. Yay! <laughs> Very careful, not that wet. I'm gonna work the crack that's right underneath here. That looks good to me. This is where I got my gold last time, was up in here. But I haven't seen this exposed before or even down in the water there, but nothing I can really do about the water right now. There's a little, little pocket in there. Oh. Oh, look at this, two! <laughs> One, two. Right, yeah, right in there. <laughs> wow. So I'm definitely gonna stick to this spot for now. There's one. So it's been around 20 minutes or so and I've cleaned out this crack to the best of my ability with my spoon. And then before I panned that out, I came up here, worked there, worked up in here, and then up there, and this is what we got. Not tea bag. As long as we're finding gold, I'm happy. And that's a good number. Now, before we call it a day, there is one more crack I want to check out, but it's actually underneath this second waterfall. So. I'm gonna bring my GoPro instead of this expensive equipment and see what we can find. <laughs> So that was not as exciting as I thought it would be, but there's still material in here. Doesn't look like anything. Okay, we have one micro dot or fly poop. I mean, better than, <laughs> better than nothing, I guess. So, that's it for us, we're gonna be calling it a day. For you guys, it probably feels like a 10, 12 minute video, but for us, it's been all day. There's a lot of hikes, there's a lot of falling, a lot of climbing and all that fun stuff. So let's get back to the house and take a look at what we found the entire day a little closer. All right, so successful day getting a little bit wet. Now there's an inside joke among prospectors that when you find gold and take it home, it tends to shrink. You be the judge. To me, this is a successful day finding candy. It won't cover my bills, but I'll take this any day over sitting at home. All right, so here is about eight hours. 
of getting wet, digging in cracks, and having fun. 40 ounces, come on baby, 40 ounces. 0.92 grams, so almost a gram. Still pretty good. So a gram of gold is roughly a million dollars. For those of you who are interested to see more content, I actually post more frequently on my other pages. But if you enjoyed this video, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming in the future. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another adventure. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And until the next one, black screen with logo. So already, we already, in the middle of <laughs>